so hi guys welcome back to my channel i realized that i didn't do an intro to this vlog you are going to be watching and i said to sit down and make an intro if this is your first time of coming by my channel make sure to subscribe like my video leave a comment and thumbs up and if you are a returning subscriber you know how we do here if you are an og glam fam thank you for stopping by i love you guys so much and and that's all period i can't wait for you to enjoy this video as usual this vlog is basically about the most stressful three days of my life as an international student in canada i was having exams tests presentations in three days and it was a lot for me and i said to vlog we enjoy it together say so guys go through the hardship with me anyway on this day i was in school up until 10 58 and that was the first day of the stress you guys are going to see me go through the rest of everything is i know you're going to enjoy this video so make sure to keep watching so guys my skin is going through hardship i'm going to hardship it's day hard. two today is a tuesday right after my practical exam yesterday and today i've had to turn in three assignments two one thousand four words essay and i had to watch an hour 30 minutes long recorded video to be able to write that essay because of course i cannot plagiarize so i had to do the work which was very very time consuming it's quite like four o'clock i've not had my bath and <laughs> even my head is distorted can you see one thing has been bothering me since morning like that has even been making me sad i think i'm going to fail one of my courses i did six courses the first semester i didn't even fail any course but i think i'm going to fail the computer course you guys know that computer course i was talking to you guys about <laughs> maybe she watched that video that saw me i was laughing I'm very sorry. I have sent her a mail four times. She said she could not provide me support even after I thought I was concerned for my academic success and I may not be able to assess financial aid if I fail that course. But she said she cannot provide support, which I don't know why. Maybe she thought I was just unserious. And I'm not an unserious person. Do I even look like an unserious person? Anyway, I have never failed an exam in my life. I've never had to carry course over, like never. Oh, I failed an exam in my junior secondary school, but then since like senior secondary school through uni, I didn't even have to fail any course. Like, I did not fail a course. So if I'm failing this course, this is the first course I'll be failing in a very long time. And I don't know how to feel about it. I was telling Christy that I would not it against myself because honestly, there's so much that one person can do. And in the past one year, couple with school and I have been doing so much. That sometimes I don't even know how I find the balance. Honestly, like I'm not even going to it against myself. It will be hard, but I'll just try to remind myself every time that I have been doing my best. How did I even expect to balance everything and not one thing me so far without so much help from outside? I mean, thinking about it, I don't think there's any way that one thing at least would have at least not suffered. So it's sad enough that it is my academics that I had to suffer. But if it was another course, but because it's a computer course, I don't have strong background in computer. Like I'm not computer savvy. Everybody that knows me knows this. It's so hard for me to even remember the most basic computer like language. So I will not even I forgive myself. The only thing is I may have to pay extra to retake the course. Oh and I'm not a failure in Jesus' name. Somebody said I was going to fail. It's not like what that person said that's coming to fulfillment. But honestly, like, I can't help it. If I could, I would have tried. I, I, I even sent my student advisor a mail and stuff. But I feel like she can always make me redo those assignments. But for some reasons, she doesn't want me to. I took full responsibility. Honestly, for missing a significant amount of work. But then I wasn't getting notified. I've already said I would never make excuses for myself and just take it as it comes. Like, just accept the old thing. Anyway, I have to go to Walmart to buy a black shoe for my presentation tomorrow. I've been talking too much. So, guys, I need you to help me with two things. Um, I don't know if I should wear a wig or just go with my hair like this. And... I brought the wrong shoes. I should have bought like a white sneaker because the top I was going to wear was blue. Not really blue, blue and white, but it's an under the bust top. So it's quite small. And I'm having a presentation. Though there's no rubrics that says we should be formally dressed. But I can't even dress formal because the same uniform I wore yesterday. I'm wearing it for the presentations tomorrow. 
I don't know how that's supposed to work. So I figured I'm just going to go like this, like this. But my shoes, I brought this, and these are the only shoes that I brought. So I don't know if I should wear my black Crocs again or if I should just wear this. What should I do? So I was waiting for my ride and because um, where I was going to was the Walmart Super Center. I was pretty much far because it's supposed to be like a very big one. And I somehow misplaced and lost the file that had the clip of me going to Walmart and boarding the ride. It took a very long time for me to find the shoe section. It was crazy because I had to take like 10 million steps. Now I understand why Celestia people are giving up on shoes. I had to walk so far inside the same Walmart to find shoes. And when I found the shoes, honestly, it's a pity that I cannot show you guys what I saw. And the styles, I mean, the designs that I saw, it was very weird. Anyway, I decided to try some on. And first of all, they didn't have my size. It was either too big or too small. And this one was looking, giving me Korean vibes. And this one that would have been the one I liked the most was too big for me. You guys remember that girl on TikTok that dances with this kind of shoe? That was what I was trying to imitate. Guys, I didn't buy any. I saw juice and I remember that I had no eating since morning. So I bought this banana bread I'm not addicted to. And I got the ride back to school because I was already running late. My Uber guy was Nigerian, so we were chatting. I tried Uber at first and he said that <laughs> there were no cars available and I have a presentation. Yes, so I was so scared. There's such. Is it such? I don't know. Wow. Thank you. You guys are going to be on my YouTube channel. Oh my god, we're famous. Okay. <laughs> Should I just like plug myself here, throw my makeup vlog out? Is it? Yeah. Throw my makeup vlog out. Just like follow me at Makeup Jess. Follow me at Makeup Jess. And Instagram. Cute. Super cute. Okay. <laughs> it was quite 9.58. And I just... I'm just leaving school. You can see that it's very dark. And I'm thinking I'm going to walk to the house. Because it's not so far. You might take the bus. It's just like, um, if I take the bus, it's eight minutes. But Google Map is saying that I'm going to take a walk for 27 minutes. But it's not far. Miss Tura told me that she walks to this place 27 minutes. I don't think I've ever worked for 27 minutes. I've not worked for 27 minutes in a very long time. So, I don't know if I should consider this. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. I don't know if I should. Why did I press my ah! Sorry, sorry, I'm so confident. Even if you are going to scream, be too sure. Oh my, oh my god so i don't know if i should consider walking should i walk 27 minutes i think more three minutes, three minutes. i think i've walked for three minutes oh, i've just been making this video for one minute 25 seconds but it feels like i've been walking for three minutes oh it's always cold in this one shower oh it's cold anyway if i walk to that bus stop and I cannot do it anymore. I will update you guys on what I did. Oh my god. You guys, if I eventually take a cab, it's not because I have money. And it's not because I'm lazy. It's just because I have a big day tomorrow. Bedroom, I was lucky enough to find a bus. Immediately I got to the bus loop. Like immediately I got there, the bus came. I, could, I would have walked, but it was not like it was during the day that they would have found me if I fainted. Outside, oh. Oh, it I, go inside, oh. I got you cold, oh. 
I'm catching. Yeah? What goes there? I'm catching. Come on. Don't. I got you. I got you cold. Oh, oh, wait up for two. Now they walk on the street, though. Jogging. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. No looking back. No looking back. Caro. Yellow CC. Eh, eh, eh. Caro. Yellow tomato. Caro, carry my money. Follow him, boy. Hey, hey. Oh, you both run up. Fish, yo. Yeah. Because of head of fish. You are fighting. Head of fish, 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 fish. Where is the house by? Head of fish, yo. I think it's this way. Mama, no, no. Hey, hey. Papa, no. It's true. Papa, no. Oh. I know that Jesus did. I will never follow him to so that station. I exercised this night. I wear the feet. I don't even need to go to the gym. You did where you give Adam chop. I don't chop. Me, this is too surprising. I miss it on picking. We shall cook. My tummy, the baby, they told me. Call it be like. Stop talking about man. I'm vlogging. No. <laughs> You're even vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> ah! no, I talk about film camera. Why? Why? Why don't you just be on the camera? Uh, no, I have to cover up first. You want to cover up? What are you covering up? No, I have to cover up. What are you trying to be fine for? No. Huh? Oh my no, god. Man. She's trying I to like pretend. My tummy hurt. Oh my Jesus. Mm. Senior Misty, Misty, goodbye, oh. <laughs> goodbye, oh. Goodbye, oh. Senior Misty, Misty, good. Oh my, oh my god. I've already sang so much in this vlog. <laughs> Like you guys already know that my voice guys, is uh, amazing. You want to say something? Fisaya is going to mm. feature me in a video one time, sir. One time, <laughs> then you'll see you see more of me. Go for uh, uh, <laughs> She said you're gonna see more of her. Celebrity Misty. Oh, as I should. Misty, you don't want to follow me to the bus. You don't even think if you are not even afraid of me losing my way. Are you oh, sure? No, no, it's, it's one way. Oh my God. Yeah, we'll fight. We'll fight. You guys, Miss Tira is making me go to hardship because she no, said I, I said the cost. She said the cost. The cost of money to go to that school. Just think, boys, how much three dollars? Three three dollars that I cannot use in five minutes. In two hours again. That's why I always like to use coins. Bye. Thank you for having me. Yo. Where's the short cut? Oh, on my last day, you next have seen me running. <laughs> I was so scared. I was now singing gyration song so that they will know that I'm not the one to play with though. <laughs> they know that I'm not the one to toy with. Senior, oh my god, it's so warm. Right. Where is the bus? That's the that bus yesterday. That, that's the bus that came. Yeah. So the bus that's taking me is coming from here. No, it's coming from here. It's coming from my terminal from that. So that you cross that traffic light. Once you cross, you already see the bus stand there. Okay. Thank so you. Bye, Misty. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So, guys, I'm currently waiting for my turn to present. It's slot by slot. So, my time is, I think my time to present is by 11.45. Yes, it is by 11.45. I'm very sure because I made sure to come earlier. So, I'm just going to go in. Somebody's going to join me. Then I'm going to try to sell to that person. It's like a role play. It's a marketing course. So, that kind of thing. So, you guys, you know, I told you I needed to wear a black shoe. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I honestly don't know why I think the things I think and I do the things I do. Because looking at this video now, I feel like I feel like I was fooling myself, obviously. That was what I did. That was This was my black shoe. And looking at it now, it doesn't even look like a shoe. Why did I think this was going to work? I did a wrap, guys. I am done, 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 done. So... Selena so, you know, was even my partner, can you imagine? I don't know if you guys have met her. But I am officially done. It was pretty fast, so my next exam, it's even an exam, I think it was my next exam is by five. So I gotta I have to look for somewhere to sit and practice the PowerPoint just in case. Oh I have to make a video, but I don't think that would make take time. 
I just need to look for somewhere quiet to sleep. It's not difficult, but I missed something. I know it's okay. What do you go to? But at this point, I will take Sujanet away. Can we journey? Why didn't you do your journey? I didn't choose the Janet. I cannot work too much. Why? I feel tired. You are tired. <laughs> That's not me. You are tired. How many courses did you register? No, it is four. Last semester is four. So I want to tell them more. I want to finish college a bit early. Oh, okay. I feel... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. How old are you? I'm 26, but this is 27. That's why I'm tired. This old age is making me tired. I'm very lucky I'm 5. Oh, me. I'm 24. I'm always tired. You're 1997? 1998, but I'm always tired. You're young. I'm so what? You have plenty of time. I saw you yesterday with some beautiful makeup. Oh, thank you. Are you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Yep. You are? You watch my if, videos? Is the a girl with the yellow hair? Yes, I'm I. <laughs> so you get tired because of school. I can relate. This school is stressing my life out. I thought it's easy. It's, it's not easy. Them. I'm crazy. We are both crazy. Man, I'm not crazy. Yo. Guys, I just finished the PowerPoint exam. The computer course, basically. So I practiced like never before. But... It was hard for me to understand the boy. He actually did well. My grades rose up to a 47. So, which is still like, which is not a pass mark because the pass mark is 50, right? So I'm three points lower. The, the, the thing was not even as bad if I had done well in the Microsoft one. So, I'm, I'm at a 47 now. So I went back, you guys, failure tastes bad. Like, this is, this is absolute ghetto. Anyway, I went back to after class, after the exam, everybody had left. And I started explaining my plight to her. Like, I don't, I don't want to fail this course because of just 30 marks, 30 points. Why, why, can't, why do I have to go through that when she can? obviously provide me support then she said i didn't tell her because i said that my father died is affecting me mentally and depressed and that me had everything then she said i should have told that my father died in this semester and i said ah, i didn't know that i would not have enough emotional mental strength to do the computer course and i don't have I don't have a background in computer knowledge. Then she said, okay, she was going to get back to me, talk to my student's advisor on what she's going to do about the remaining three grades, maybe do a PLI exam. I think that exam is something, I don't even know, I think it is something that you do that can just something on the side that up your grades, then you're going to pass the exam, that kind of thing. So from yesterday, today for yesterday to today, that I've been very bothered about this whole thing there was a ray of sunshine a ray of hope that maybe i would actually be able to pass that course because i told her that was the only course that i'm failing or i would be feeling that even in my first year i didn't fail any course and i just explained to her that i'm not used to failing is such an alien to me and that kind of thing i know that not everybody will talk about their failures but my aim in this life is to be relatable so you guys, even this stuff is tasting bitter. Failure it tastes bitter. But anyway, I'll let you guys know if I eventually passed the course or if I eventually, I thought I could not afford it. I don't have a father. How will I pay? How will I afford this thing? I can't have a father. From my heart, all the distance I was doing yesterday, if I feel like fear, my sister was telling me, um, what will your father say right now? Because trust me, I've told everybody about this. Like, Oh my god, I think I'm going to fail the course. So my son was like, What will your father? My father, eh? No, used to fail when my daddy was alive because my daddy had failure like this. Like, even if you, failure is very okay sometimes, if you fail an exam in my house, my dad makes it look like you've killed, you've murdered somebody, which was a little bit too harsh. Anyway, yeah, let me show you my talent. I just 
just have to make one last presentation video and I am done. <clears throat> you guys, they are following me. I am being followed like... Some people are at my back walking after I take a step. So there's this test I was supposed to do that I was supposed to be doing yesterday. I didn't do it. I missed the test. For you guys, like... I'm being followed because I missed the test. And I did it the one that is not due until Saturday, until Friday rather. I, I miscalculated. But good news, because I was doing very well in the course. So I still have, I'm still going to score like 62 on the total average, which makes sense. Because when I mailed that, I was like, okay, are you, are you doing well? We don't need to redo this test. Made me feel some kind of way because why would I miss a test? I'm being followed, but I'll take it easy. I can't still work for the rest of you know. I have a few makeup judges and then we go rock farm. So I'll let you guys know when I'm going home. I feel like I have spoken a lot in this vlog. I was planning to extend the vlog to the weekend, but I feel like this vlog will only reach 20 minutes. So I opt on the bus home and for the very first time in a very long time. I did not sleep on the bus because I was so scared that if I should sleep, I'll forget to wake up because I was so exhausted and I did not want to risk it. Before, they will not, nobody will wake me up and then before I know it, I'll be at the last, 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 last stop, that kind of thing. I was more excited that I would not be coming to Russia for the next four months. So guys, last update on the computer issue. She ended up opening it for me. I don't know what ministered to her. But then she ended up opening up for me and she put it up on the Sunday. But somehow, somehow, as a Sunday, I had not completed the test. And I was so sad. I was beating myself up about that. Oh my God. After all this opportunity, I was still going to fail the course. I then mailed her again after that and she opened it for me. So good news, guys. I'm not failing the course. I am no longer failing the course. I passed with an average of 54, which is fair enough. As far as I don't have to do the course again. Funny how the whole thing was not easy at the end though because I had to sit down and start learning PowerPoint all over again and um, Microsoft Word. I know it's so simple. I don't, I don't know why it was very hard for me to grasp. This vlog is going to end here. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Until next time, stay happy, stay fabulous, stay blessed. I love you guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye.